Hey, it's Ken Dunn here. I'm uh, talking to you right now from the home office in Toronto, Canada. And uh, I want to spend a couple minutes with you right now, and I'm going to get into some real serious stuff here. Some of my personal thoughts on building a big network marketing business. I've been involved in network marketing for almost six years now and have, have uh, been absolutely blessed in the industry. I've been only with two companies. I'm not a jumper, uh, and I've earned, earned millions of dollars in the process. And in that, I've had the chance to basically redefine who I am in the process, uh, rebuild an entire personality. Uh, you can learn all about that stuff at secretsofsimplicity.com. That's my training website, completely generic. You're welcome to everything there. It's free. Because what I want to focus on right now is why is it that such a few people end up making millions of dollars in network marketing and the vast majority of people end up making no money in network marketing. Over the last couple of months, I've had the chance to coach many people personally, one-on-one -on -one in the industry, and I've paid really specific attention to how they're doing their business, what they're saying, how they're saying it, and belief that they're building in other people. You see, I've had this theory floating around in my head for the last while about why it is that some of us make big money and the vast majority don't. And the theory is really simple. I truly believe in my heart that the differentiator between the successful and the not successful, the haves and the have-nots, is not desire or passion, it's your ability to communicate the message. First of all, as you saw in my last video, you've got to be all in the win. You've got to be talking about this business all the time. You can't do it 50% of the time. It has to be your number one thing, your everything. And anytime you're around somebody, you've got to make efforts to share your opportunity, your product or service with them. The second thing, and likely the most important thing, is the realization of where most people are at. And I think this is the big point. This, if there is a secret in my mind, here it is. You have to realize that 99% of people on this planet, especially those over the age of 40, have already resigned themselves to mediocrity. You see, we all have dreams and desires and goals and, and mountains to climb and planes to fly and places to visit when we're in our teens and 20s. But as reality sets in, we get married, we have children, we accumulate debt, we take on responsibilities, and it seems to quell or quash those dreams. Well, as you're calling and talking to people, as you're prospecting new associates for your business, you've got to realize that the vast majority, as I just said, 99% of people that you're prospecting are already at the point in life where they've given up. Imagine if, if uh, the story I told this morning is, is that of somebody hanging over the side of a mountain. Imagine if you've fallen over the side of a mountain and you're holding on by one hand to a rope, and you look down and you see 8,000 feet below you, and you know if you let go of that rope, you're done, you're finished. And I'm above you, just one foot above you, and I'm reaching out to you, I'm putting my hand down, I know your other arm's broken, so just picture yourself there. I'm putting my one hand down to you, and I say, grab my hand, I can save you. But our perspectives are different. You see, as I'm reaching down, and I'm saying, grab my hand, I'm standing on shore ground. I feel safe. I don't have those inhibitions. I certainly don't see 8,000 feet below me, and I don't have the thought in my mind, if I let go, I'm dead. Your perspective is, I can't let go. If I let go, I'm done. Even though my hand's right there, and I know in my mind and my heart, all you have to do is let go and I'll grab you, you can't you bring yourself to doing that. You see, that's where most of our prospects are. Most of our prospects are sitting there right now, and they realize where they've gotten to, and they're at a point in life where they're saying, you know what, I can't let go of what I'm doing. I absolutely can't. Because if I let go, it's, it's destitute, it's destruction that's going to await me. Even if you're telling them there's a better way, well, their perspective is different than yours. And if they're at a point where they've already given up on life, which the vast majority of people have, it is going to be extremely difficult for you to alter their reality, for you to get them to believe. And that's the name of the game. Before you get them to believe in anything else, you have to get them to believe in you. Now, some people are going to look at me and say, well, Ken, it's easier for you to do that. You've already made millions of dollars in the business. But you know what? I got this from the beginning. What I do when I'm talking to people is I realize in my mind that I'm talking to somebody who's likely given up or is in the process of doing it, has already resigned themselves to mediocrity. So when I'm talking to somebody, I say, listen, I want you to get involved in this. I believe in this. I believe in you. I've been able to help people in the past, and you're next. I'm not going to do it for you, but I will be with you, especially through that first 90 days. As you begin to crawl again and walk and get ready to run, I'll be
be right by your side. See, it's that tone, it's that intonation, it's that passion. It's the only way you're going to be able to help somebody else to begin to believe again, to get up the nerve, the energy, to let go of that rope and grab your hand. If you're not talking all in, if you're not talking with that same enthusiasm, if you're not saying those same words, if you're not helping somebody to understand that there is hope, your chances of getting somebody to join that business with you are significantly depleted. See, I've said many times, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. You can't worry about who's going to join and who's not. Everybody will join if you catch them on the right day. But when you're talking to somebody, you have to make sure that you're encouraging them. Be careful not to go overboard and say you'll do it for them, but you've got to give them something to believe in. You've got to realize that most people have already stopped believing in themselves. So if you want to get them to join their business and they've stopped believing in themselves, you're not going to change that. Get them to believe in you. And then as they start believing in you, introduce them to your service or your product. Get them to believe in the service or product. Then get them to believe in your corporate management team and your owners and your company and the industry. But don't try and take all that on up front. Start by getting them to believe in you. Start by encouraging them to take action. Start by reminding them of what the dreams of life are. Taking them back to where they were and give them a reason to want to grab hold and run with you. Hey, those are my thoughts for the day. I hope that you understand my perspectives on things. If you want more information, uh, you can get a hold of me by emailing me here on Facebook or checking out our generic training website, secretsofsimplicity.com. Talk to you soon.